The term Pookie and Ray Ray is used to describe the thugs and gangbangers who are killing and destroying the black community. These are also the type of men who have multiple baby moms with multiple different women. And they're the reason why so many kids are being raised without a father. They have 10 different baby moms, 20 different baby moms. And what bothers me more than anything is nobody wants to hold them accountable. Anytime a black person speaks against Pookie and Ray Ray, he's called a coon. Every time a black person who has common sense speaks against the dysfunctional behavior by Pookie and Ray Ray, these pro-black activists will call you a coon. They'll call you an Uncle Tom. They'll call you a self-hater. And they will make excuses for Pookie and Ray Ray's behavior by saying it's white supremacy's fault. It's the white man's fault. If a black man kills another black man, that's not the white man's fault. If a black man impregnates 10 different women and chooses to not be a father to any of those kids, that's not the white man's fault. You can't blame that on white supremacy. Every time these thugs get involved in this type of behavior, these people in the conscious community, these fake pro-black activists will try to make excuses for their behavior by saying, oh, we live in a system of white supremacy. It's not their fault. It's the white man's fault. Look, I'm a black man who grew up poor. I'm a black man who grew up in the ghetto, but I've never robbed anyone. I've never killed anyone. I've never had any kids out of wedlock. All my kids have been born in marriage with one woman. But these dudes are going around here having baby after baby with 10 different women. And they don't even bother to try to see those kids or be a father to any of those kids. Most of the murders in the black community are committed by these gangbanging thugs. Most of the murders in the black community are committed by Pookie and Ray Ray. But anytime a black person who has common sense speaks against Pookie and Ray Ray, these same, these pro-black activists will come out and call you a coon. And then they will have the nerve to talk about black lives mattering. They seem to only care about black lives unless the killer is white. The killer is black, they don't give a shit. Like I've said many times before, if you only care about black lives when the killer is white, then you don't give a shit about black lives. Because most black people are being killed by other black people. There was an incident at a Waffle House in Florida where a man named Greg Buer was buying people breakfast. He was passing out $20 bills. He was being a good Samaritan. He was helping people out. Well, it was this one woman in the restaurant that he didn't buy food for. And this woman got so mad, she got so pissed off, she got her boyfriend to go in the restaurant and shoot and kill this man. The man's name is Ezekiel Hicks. He killed Great Buer over nothing. He killed this man because he didn't buy his girlfriend food. This is how ridiculous the black on black crime problem has become. When you're killing somebody over a plate of food, how ungrateful can you possibly be? How ignorant can you possibly be? To kill somebody because they didn't buy your girlfriend any food. That's ridiculous. But I've, I've actually seen black people get killed for less reasons than this. The Bloods and Crips kill each other every day because they're, they may be wearing the wrong color in the wrong neighborhood. 
Pookie and Ray Ray will kill niggas over nothing. Pookie and Ray Ray are just as bad as any Klansmen. They're just as bad as any white supremacists. So when I see a lot of these pro-black activists defending Pookie and Ray Ray's behavior and trying to blame this on white supremacy, trying to blame this on the white man, it just goes to show how lost the black community is, how lost today's generation is. Now, Charlemagne the God on The Breakfast Club was talking about this on the show, and he called Ezekiel Hicks a donkey. He gave him donkey of the day. And the people who are friends of Ezekiel Hicks called into the show, and they were defending him. They were defending this dumb Negro who killed somebody over a plate of food. Black people need to stop defending Pookie and Ray Ray. Stop defending thugs and savages. I think the people who defend Pookie and Ray Ray are just as bad as the Pookies and Ray Rays. Because if you're defending their behavior, you must be condoning their behavior. This is why every time one of these gang banging thugs gets killed by the police, I don't give a shit. Every time one of these drug dealers gets killed by the police, I don't give a shit. If you're a Pookie and Ray Ray type of dude, I don't give a damn if you're killed by the police. The only people I have sympathy for who are killed by the police, unless it's a, a person who's a law-abiding citizen. If you're a law-abiding citizen who's not involved in crime, and you get killed by the police, then I'm gonna be outraged. But I'm not gonna be outraged by somebody who's a drug dealer or a thug who gets killed by the police. I don't give a shit. Black people need to start separating the difference between the criminals who are killed by the police and the innocent people who are killed by the police. There's a huge difference between criminals who are killed by the police and innocent people who are killed by the police. I have no sympathy for Michael Brown whatsoever. Michael Brown was a drug dealer thug. But you have people, you got you have people to this day talking about Michael Brown like he was this innocent angel who did nothing wrong. Michael Brown was a drug dealer thug. Why should I give a damn that Michael Brown was killed by the police? And it bothers me how the criminals get more protests and more attention than the people who are actually innocent. I'm gonna explain the difference between someone who's innocent who's killed by the police and someone who's a criminal who's killed by the police. Around the same time that Michael Brown was killed, there was a man named John Crawford who was shopping in Walmart. This boy, this young man was a college student. He didn't have any criminal record. He was shopping in Walmart. He picked up a toy gun that looked like a real gun. And the police went into the Walmart and shot and killed him. This is a man who's completely innocent. This is a man that deserved protest. But, but, but because all the media coverage went to Michael Brown, People completely ignored his case. The only people that protested for him were actually white people. Most of the Black Lives Matter protesters completely ignored him because they were all focused on Michael Brown. All the protests went to Michael Brown and he was completely ignored. This is the problem I have with Black Lives Matter, protesting for criminals and thugs and completely ignoring the people who are actually really innocent. It always bothered me that Michael Brown got more protests and more coverage than Eric Garner did. When Eric Garner is the one who's really innocent. People need to start separating the difference between the criminals who are killed by the police and the people who are innocent who are killed by the police. If Pookie or Ray Ray gets killed by the police, 
Black people shouldn't give a shit. We should be thankful that the police killed Pookie or Ray Ray. And going back to what I was saying earlier in the video, 90% of murders in the black community are black on black crime. 90%, a very small percentage of blacks are killed by the police. But these fake pro-black activists will try to act like it's the white cops who are killing the majority of black people when a very small percentage of black people are killed by the police. So I think people need to put things in perspective and start looking at things for what they are. And like I said before, if you only care about black lives when the killer is white, but you don't got shit to say when the killer is black, then you don't give a shit about black lives. If you really care about black lives, you will be outraged by any innocent black person being killed. So people need to put things in perspective and look at things for what they are. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.